Hi everybody, it is Crystal with Toxin Tuesday. How are you guys doing on this Tuesday? And I apologize, I didn't post last week, so I will hopefully double up and talk about what I talked about last week. Um, so this week, uh, we are gonna be talking about perfume, okay? Perfume alone has about 5,000 chemicals in it. Um, and I find these great articles, so that's why I read. I can't keep everything in my head, but perfume is very, very toxic, okay? And there are other alternatives, and that's what I'll we'll talk about in a little bit. Um, but fragrance allergies affect 2 to 11% of the general population, okay? And so since fragrance ingredients are volatile, they enter... They easily enter the air as gases and they expose the eyes and the nasal respiratory tract. Um, now, asthmatics, um, this effect of exposure may be more severe. So people that have asthma are gonna have a lot more issues with perfume. Um, so like secondhand smoke, even low concentrations of fragrance ingredients can provoke the asthmatic episodes. So if you guys have asthma, you need to stay away from perfume. Um, other common fragrance ingredients such as benzoyl, salic, salicylate, benzoyl, benzoate, I'm gonna screw these up, uh, butoextilethol are known as skin, eye, nose, and throat irritants, which can cause severe symptoms such as burning sensation, nausea, vomiting, and damage to the liver and the kidneys. This is from perfume, spraying perfume, being around somebody who has perfume, okay? The IFRA list of fragrance, of possible fragrance ingredients includes chemicals listed as carcinogens by California's Prop 65 program and the National Toxology Program, such as pyridine, benzophenine, methylogene, and styrene. These are all terrible chemicals. Um, now, there was a 2010 study, and it was about 17 tested fragrances. Um, now, one, they're talking about the musk. So, high levels of musk ketone and musk xylane in women's blood may also be affected with gynecological abnormalities, such as ovarian failure and infertility. So, if you're trying to have a baby and using perfume, I would think about that and stop using the perfume, okay? Okay. And you don't want to be wearing perfume when you're around babies or kids. Like I said before, uh, their lungs are not developed before they're eight years old. And they breathe that in, and that messes with your immune and respiratory system. All right, so how about neuro, neurotoxic chemicals? Um, animal study, studies have linked fragrance ingredient pycimine to headache, weakness, and irritability. Anybody want headaches? I don't, and actually I will tell you about this. I used to use tons of perfumes and I would get a lot of migraines and I didn't realize that when I was spraying the perfume, I was giving myself a migraine. So it can be prevented. Um, I have a lot less migraines now that I'm not using perfume. I use other alternatives. Um, I smell really good, but I'm not using toxic perfumes and using 5,000 chemicals that are horrible for my, my brain, my headaches, I mean, uh, I've done much better. Um, so yeah, it's all about perfume. Perfume is terrible and toxic. Um, okay, so also the musk tonalide and galaxolide induce brain cell G degeneration, which can lead to generation disorders such as Parkinson disease. So brain cell de uh, degeneration. So don't use perfume, okay? That's scary to know that if you're using perfume or any kind of fragrance products, that uh, that could be affected and you could get a disorder as Parkinson's disease or even Alzheimer's. Remember I told you the number one symptom of Alzheimer's is not loss of memory, it's loss of smell, okay? Um, all right, this is important about the environmental toxins. Fragrance represents a serious threat to the environment. Synthetic musk end up in, excuse me, wastewater, drinking water, soil, and indoor air. Musk also, musk also bio, bio, oh, 
boy, I can't talk today. It bioaccumulates in the fatty tissue of the aquatic wildlife and it travels through their food chain into the salmon and shrimp. So that's why you wanna make sure you're getting organic um, salmon and shrimp. Okay, in a 2010 study of fragrance products, um, they emitted volatile organic compounds and identified as toxic and hazard under federal law. Now, despite releasing compounds like chloromethane and methylene into the air, fragrance remains unregulated. The continual contamination of our air, our soil, and water resources has, have even been identified as some fragrance chemicals as persistent organic pollutants. Um, okay, that was one article, and I looked this up online, um, so you can look it up, Dangers of Perfume. This one is another one, Fragrance is a New Secondhand Smoke. Um, so fragrance, perfume, um, terrible 5,000 chemicals, it clogs the, lymph the lymphatic system, your major organs, system toxicity. Okay, so let's talk about the history of the fragrance a little bit. Um, today's fragrance products are associated with diabetes, obesity, autism, ADD, ADHD, and hormone disruption. Sadly, the person wearing or using the fragrance is not the only one affected. Synthetic fragrance affects air quality for those sharing the space as well. There's been many times where I've gone somewhere, I'm not wearing perfume, I'm not wearing anything that day, I just happen to not have anything on, and I can smell, I can smell the perfume, and it emanates and it gets on me and it's ridiculous. And I just can't breathe. My immune system, my respiratory, it's just awful. I have to come home and take a shower and wash my hair. Um, and for a very good example, uh, we just went to the hospital and we had um, something done. And the person, we went into the room and the clothes that they were wearing, I could smell it. It was just so bad. And uh, we were kind of stuck. And then I actually went to a friend's house and they had cut up watermelon and he gave me some. And I smelled it through the plastic. They had air fresheners, okay? So the air fresheners had permeated in their home and they had gone through the plastic and I could smell it through the watermelon. So needless to say, I didn't eat that watermelon. It was terrible. Um, okay. So, the word fragrance has now gained infamy as a new secondhand smoke when the et etymology of the word perfume comes from the Latin phrase per meaning through and fumus meaning smoke. Um, so, when people go to a public place, they are sharing what is now being called secondhand fragrance. Okay, the combination of harmful chemicals being released into the public airspace from air fresheners, cleaning products, scented candles, uh, plus people, what they're wearing, their hairspray, their perfume, their lotion, all that. Um, everyone is involuntarily breathing contaminated air even if they choose not to wear fragrance products, okay? We've got to get awareness out there and this is why I talk to you guys, okay? I'm so passionate about it. I want everyone to be happy and healthy and be able to breathe and have a good immune system and a good respiratory system. Um, so what's actually in the fragrance product? Um, I, I talked about this a second ago, but there's about 5,000 chemicals. Um, and if this large number of, of ingredients, none of them actually have to be disclosed or tested for safety, okay? None of them are tested. According to the Environmental Working Group, the EWG, 72% of products with the ingredient fragrance contained endocrine disruptors called phospholates. Um, these phospholates are, are again linked to diabetes, obesity, liver, and breast cancer. Hormone disruption affecting infertility, or affecting fertility and development as well as linked to ADHD and autism in the first and the third trimester of prenatal exposure. So if you know somebody who is pregnant or is pregnant, just had a baby that wants to get pregnant, has been trying, get rid of the perfume. And remember the fragrance is affecting all this. The National Academy of Sciences working with an expert panel, they stated that there may be cancer causing 
chemicals in the fragrance, okay? Unfortunately, because of secrecy and a lack of transparency and labeling, there's really no way for a consumer to make informed decisions about fragrance products. And that's why I'm talking to you about this, okay? Share this video with everyone and anyone, okay? I'm not kidding. Men use fragrance too when you use deodorant, when you use um, shaving cream, your shampoo, your deodorant, all kinds of whatever health hair care you're working or beauty products. Um, so up to 95% of these synthetic chemicals used to make fragrance recipes are derived from petrochemicals. These particular ingredients are known to a 1991 EPA analysis to cause cancer, birth defects, nervous system disorders, asthma, and allergies. Um, to make matters even worse for the unsuspected public, many products labeled as an unscented are actually the fragrance product with the addition of another masking fragrance. So they're going to rename it, and you're not even going to know what's in it. All right? Um, I love this. So the Harvard University Teaching Hospital is a model for promoting fragrance-free policies in their hospital. And then Brigham and Women's Hospital has even um, initiated a campaign for fragrance-free health care. I love that. So hospital is not the greatest place to be going. Um, okay, so what can you use instead? All right, so I use essential oils. I use Young Living. I only trust them. We have a seed to seal um, great policy, policy you may call it, but we start from the seed, we plant it, and we distill it, and it grows, and we bottle it, and we put it in this little bottle, and it becomes an essential oil. It's fabulous. This is one. This is Ylang Ylang. Okay, this is a great perfume alternative. Um, just put a drop on your wrist. There you go. It's wonderful. I like Ylang Ylang. My newest favorite one is Sensation. It is sensational. It's also great for in the bedroom. Um, or if you need a girlfriend, uh, wanting to get a girlfriend, um, I mean a boyfriend, sorry, wanting to get a boyfriend. Um, yeah. Um, and then Sacred Mountain is another one. I love this one. Um, and most of these are all blends. Ylang Ylang is by itself. Um, Mountain Sa Mountain. Sacred is a blend um, of different oils. And then here's another one, Joy. Joy is a great one for your heart. So if you're actually not having a great day or you know somebody who's kind of grouchy and you want, to, you want a little more joy in their life or they need more joy so that you're more happy, um, you could actually just rub some on their back, put it in their clothing before they wake up, and then wake up, and there you go. But these are all great alternatives we, we have um, over 300 essential oils, so find whatever blend is yours. You know, Peace and Calming is a great one that's calming and relaxing. My dog likes that one. Um, that one helps her when we have storms, when the rain and it's thundering and it just calms her down and I just put a drop and I put it on her coat. Um, I only trust Young Living. Uh, and then the other thing is you can actually make your own blends. This is a great recipe. It's uh, called Stolen. It has stolen my heart. Melissa Pepping is a wonderful lady who has come out and she's done a lot of blending herself. But really it's just essential oils and then we added um, some vanilla and then um, this was made with vodka. So um, super great spray and that replaces my perfume. So when in doubt, I just have a lot of fun. I use the Young Living essential oils, you know, but whatever, pick your own. Um, but we talked about perfume today, and you know what? If you want to get some of these own your own fabulous essential oils, you can message me, text me at 210-557-3535. I would love to talk to you more about essential oils, and that's a great way. Um, they're a natural fragrance, and they're not they're non toxic, and um, they're just they're not going to do all the other bad things that we talked about earlier. All right, well, I'm keeping this under 15 minutes. So, and also you can use a diffuser. That's a great way to, to diffuse as well. Um, but this is Crystal with Hogs Love and Oils. And please share this with everybody. And I will see you next Tuesday. Take care and thanks for watching. Talks on Tuesday. Bye.